Okay, at this time I need to go ahead and make an extrusion that will actually show my outer part of my wheel for the front of the dragster. So, go ahead and save my document as you see here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and get into sketch and I'm going to create a spline here and it's asking me what plane to draw on. Of course, it'll be on the right plane. I'm going to come directly off of the center of the hole, the axle hole, to about right here. Then I'll come above it, making sure that I'm perpendicular on this one point, to about right here. Now, I'm not really sure as to how far that distance is, so I'm going to go ahead and put in there a smart dimension. So I'll grab this here, and I'll grab that, and I'll come down, and I'll set that to probably 35 millimeters here. And then I'll do the same as well over here to this point, set it to, um, actually escape that here, get rid of that, I'll delete that. So I'm gonna get, again, 35 from one side to the other. So 35 from here over to this point, again, 35, that's good. Accept that. And then I'll check that off and I'll come back and do another smart dimension from this point over to that point again to 35 millimeters. Now you can play around with that and do different things you want, whatever, whatever, whatever you particularly like. And then here I'll come in and I'll set that to uh, a distance of say eight millimeters here. Okay. Now, once I've got that in, I'll place the center line horizontal uh, infinite length on this point here and accept that. And then I'll go to mirror entities and I'll take and do a re clear on that and select that as my point to center about and then I'll grab this and I'll go ahead and accept that as well. Now as you can tell uh, if I rotate my model around that's based on center plane. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do an extrude on mid plane here and I'm going to go out to 36 uh, millimeters. The reason I'm choosing 36 is because I want to be one millimeter uh, over the size at axle width, the body width. So I'll check that out. And as you can tell, it's gone ahead and done that. Well, we got one slight problem. is where did our axle holes go? Well, that's really not a problem. We can fix that. So what I'm going to do now is come up here to this one part here. I'm going to turn on my wireframe view and so I can see that. Well, apparently it's gone, so i got to figure out what I need to do on that. So I'm going to roll back to here and see my axle hole. So what I'll do now is go back to this here, expand it, and I'll edit the sketch. And I'll go ahead, when I do my extrusion, I'll place a sketch in the center of that to designate my axle and bushing hole. So now, again, I'll go ahead and rebuild, and I'll go ahead and rotate this around and now you should be able to when I go to wireframe shaded uh, <clears throat> see the actual uh, bushing hole as it is right there okay that's pretty good for now we'll come back to the okay as you can see we've got our wings now extruded based on mid plane that looks pretty good now one thing I want you to understand is I set a distance of 35 from here and a distance of 35 from there for a total overall of 70 what in effect is happening here is that these wings here actually will protect the front tire from being ripped off or the uh, axle from being bent. Seen that happen many times. But now what we're going to do is create a nice fillet in between the body here and the wing. So I'm going to come up here and select my fillet command and at this time I'm going to go ahead and key in on my radius for that fillet. I'm going to key in probably a radius of 3.175 which is an eighth of an inch which actually I could go as tight as a sixteenth because of the curvature of my actual uh, milling bit that I would be using if I was milling this. That well, looks pretty nice. I'll rotate that around and I'll get the bottom one there and actually what I'm going to do is not do the bottom one just yet. I'll go ahead and clear, uh, delete that bottom one. I'm going to rotate around to the other side and I'm going to put one here. Now the reason I didn't go ahead and do the bottom part is because I'm going to come back and do a fillet on this edge right here, a slight fillet. So I didn't want to have a problem with the fillet that I would put under the wing. So that looks pretty good right now. I'm going to go ahead and do a control four, which gives me my left side view of the car. And we'll come back to this in a moment. 
Okay, now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and work on the wheel pod for the rear axle. Watch how I do this at this time. I'm going to set myself normal to the right plane here. I'll zoom up on that. I'll grab my uh, sketch and create a new sketch. I'll do circle by center, as you see right here, and I'm going to extrude this out to some size about like that. And then I'll do on the center piece here, where I'm at the uh, diameter of the uh, uh, bushing hole right there. Now, I need the smart dimension from here down to there, and I'm gonna set that smart dimension to 25 millimeters on that. Now what I'm gonna do is come over here and create a sketch from right here across to there. And I'll come up with my uh, power trim command, and I'm gonna start trimming out some some of the unnecessary parts of the sketch that I don't need. So that way I'm planar to the bottom of the car. Now notice real important right here where I'm at is planar on the center of the car. I'm going to go ahead and check this off here and I'll come back to this. So we have successfully drawn our sketch on mid-plane. If you're not, uh, if you're not uh, sure that it's on mid-plane or not, you can come over here and go to the back of your car and verify that the sketch is actually in the center of the car. Well, that's good because it is. I'll do a control seven to see myself in uh, I, uh, isometric view. I can come over here and click on triometric to see it at a different angle or diametric as well. So I'm gonna leave mine at diametric for the moment. Now what I'm gonna do is still in the sketch, I'm gonna do an extrude uh, boss base. Again, see how it's extruding off to one side. I'm gonna set it to uh, mid plane. So I set it to mid plane and remembered my last uh, my last setting. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that at 36 millimeters and extrude that as well. Now this looks really nice. So now I've got this brought in. It looks really good. I'll come back in a little while and I'll play around with the fillet coming into this side. Since I no longer need my temporary axis, I'm going to go ahead and turn that off for right now. So my temporary axes are there and I turn them off. Again, rebuild your model and save your file.